Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and I'm the Black Powder Editor for Guns of the Old West magazine. And today we're out at the range with Uberti's 1873 Saddle Ring Carbine. Now this is a copy of the Winchester Model 1873. As I said, it's made by Uberti in Italy and imported by Uberti USA. Now, today is a pretty beautiful day in late February. And I don't know when you're going to be getting to watch this. Could be the middle of June for all I know. But this is the nicest day that we've had here in central Pennsylvania for two months. And unlike all the crappy days I've been out here, today there are a lot of people at the range. So you're going to hear a lot of that banging behind me during the video. It's just unavoidable. Well, the Uberti 1873 saddle ring carbine is chambered in 4440. This one is, uh, just like the originals were. Though now you can get them in 45 Colt and 38 Special, and occasionally special runs in 44 Special or 3840. But uh, if you're not familiar with them, they load through a loading gate here in the receiver. And the magazine tube holds 10 rounds. I'm going to load five, and we'll just uh, we'll just put it through its its paces. This is Uberti's replica of Winchester's 1873 carbine. It differs from the rifle in a couple of respects. Uh, the most obvious is that it has barrel bands for the front sight and to hold the forearm on. Also it has a short 20 inch barrel, um, though now they're making short rifles that are about the same size but they have all the rifle characteristics instead of the carbine characteristics. The rifles were color case hardened, but the carbines were all blued on the receiver. Only the lever and the hammer were color case hardened. And even though this is designated the 1873 carbine, because it came out in the fall of 1873, very few of them shipped until 1874. And I'm working on an article with this rifle uh, for a piece on the rifles of the Texas Rangers. And You've probably seen a video I've got on the 5070, uh, or you will be seeing it, 5070 Sharps, which was the first official rifle of the Texas Rangers. But by 1875, the Rangers were looking for more firepower, and they started to supply these carbines and rifles to their men. So the interesting thing is Texas was always kind of short on funds, so when the Frontier Battalion started to rearm with the 1873 Winchesters, they actually deducted the cost of each man's rifle from his pay. So you had the choice of either buying one yourself or getting one from the state of Texas, but then having the money deducted from your pay. Uh, and, and they weren't really cheap. Uh, the carbines cost $40 and the rifles cost $50, and since the Rangers were only paid between $30 and $40 a month, that was a pretty good whack. So, by the time we get to the 1870s, and we've got guys like uh, Jeff Milton joining the Rangers, or I should say the 1880s, and we have guys like Jeff Milton joining the Rangers, the standard issue was for a Winchester carbine and a Colt single action army, and for the carbine to be in 4440, and for the single action army to, uh, to be in 45 Colt. And as soon as the recruit signed up, he was issued 100 shells uh, by the state. And then every month, the state gave him an additional 12 rifle rounds and six pistol cartridges. And that's what he was expected to get the job done with. So uh, if you wanted any more than that, you had to reach into your own pocket. So let's, let's see what this thing can do on the range. Well, Evil Roy never learns. He's up to his old tricks. He's lurking down range, and we've got the Uberti saddle ring carbine. So it's time to drive him off.
one in my hat. <laughs> that is typical for these toggle link action Winchester rifles. They eject straight up. And let's finish up with a bad guy's view of the 1873 carbine.